Hi, this is Bill Paulus from Profits Run, and this message is for anyone who wants to potentially make some extra money every month trading Forex on a part-time basis, but who also doesn't want to have to spend $2,000 to learn how to do it. In fact, you won't have to spend anything to implement and potentially profit from what I'm about to teach you in this video lesson and in the follow-up companion videos I'm about to release. That's because I've decided to shake up the Forex education industry and do something that totally goes against the grain. To start with, I'm going to take one of my very best Forex trading methods that thousands of people have paid a real value of $500 for in the past and give it away to you for free. But I'm going to do even more than that. The free $500 Forex method is only the first part. Let me explain. After teaching thousands of regular people from all around the world how to get an edge trading Forex, I've found that there's absolutely no reason you have to lose in these great markets. In fact, the real reason that people continue to lose is that they try to cheat or shortcut proven methods. And hey, I understand people are busy. You're busy. It's only natural to want a shortcut. So after analyzing all of my Forex trading methods, I sifted out the key elements that are common to not only all of my Forex methods, but to my competitors' methods as well. I call them the three Forex Wealth Catalysts, and that's what I'm going to teach you for free in these training videos. You'll see how most people only use one or two of them, if at all, and that's why they lose. But something special happens when you combine all three. Now, it sounds cliche, but you truly get a synergy by combining all three that gives you the edge that you need to potentially pull money out of the Forex markets on a part-time basis, month after month, over time. It's not magic, but sometimes it feels like magic when everything's working for you. And that's the feeling I want you to experience firsthand by applying and implementing what you're about to learn. Sound good? Now you're probably wondering, why am I so willing to teach you some of my very best trade secrets for free? After all, I do have a business to run. Well, I'm doing this for two reasons. First, I'm genuinely concerned about the state of the global economy, and I believe things are going to get a whole lot worse before they get better. Later in this video, you'll see how all the economic turmoil actually makes it easier to trade Forex. But the bottom line is that I don't believe the governments of the world can solve all the financial and economic problems. I believe that entrepreneurs and business owners are going to make the greatest positive impact on the world. You've probably seen a trend in the past decade where more and more people are starting small businesses and by the time you're done learning about my three Forex Wealth Catalysts, you'll have the foundation for treating Forex trading as your own small business. Something you can do either part-time or full-time, depending on your lifestyle. And it's my hope that you teach others what you learn in these training videos so that more and more regular people can become empowered with this knowledge. Now maybe I'm being naive, but it's certainly a step in the right direction. Now, the second reason I'm going to teach you my three best Forex secrets for free is because of the golden rule, karma, or whatever you want to call it. Now, I might be a little old-fashioned, but I was raised to believe that what goes around comes around. Yeah, sure, I have a business to run, but I know that if I put my best foot forward and teach you some of my best techniques for free, that many people will end up coming back to me for more advanced training later on down the road. So, put your wallet away, relax, and take notes with an open mind. What you're about to learn in these training videos is more valuable than many Forex courses or coaching that you'd have to pay for. So Forex Wealth Catalyst number one is the trading method that I initially discovered in the summer of 2007 at my lake residence in northern Michigan. It's been like a second home to me since I bought it in the mid-1980s, and every time I visit, there's something that really sparks my creativity. And this is where some of my best ideas about trading come from. This is a picture of the actual spot where I discovered the trading method you're about to learn. I remember it well. It was one of those aha moments that are hard to forget. I called my son Greg later that day and my first words to him were, you aren't going to believe this. We ended up naming it the pip reversal method and the historical hypothetical trading results were amazing. But when we applied it and tested it with live market data, it performed even better. And now, over five years later, it's still one of the best-performing Forex methods I've ever developed. Of course, you will have losing trades. But over a recent three-month period, for example, the pip reversal method had an 86% win rate, where the average winning trade was 4.8 times greater than the average losing trade. Now, there's no such thing as the holy grail of trading. But I think almost everyone would be happy with performance like that. Okay, 
Here we go. I'm going to teach you the pip reversal method in two parts using my trading blueprints that you can also download from this training website. After you watch this video, go ahead and download them and print them out. But for now, just pay attention to this video. Also, if you're brand new to trading, some of this might be a little confusing. So if that's you, don't worry. Just watch it with an open mind and then go back and review it a few more times. By the time you finish watching all these training videos, you should have a much better understanding of what's going on here. Okay, first up is the long trade blueprint. Okay, the first thing is we need to define some of the terminology used in the blueprint. First, the LL2, that's the lowest low of the past two days. The LL5 is the lowest low of the past five days. The LL40 is the lowest low of the past 40 days. And the LH5 is the lowest high of the past five days. The ATR20 is simply the average true range of the past 20 days. And the swing low is any low with at least two higher lows than the swing low day low and two higher highs than the swing low day high on both sides of the swing low day. Now, as we get into the blueprint and the chart application of the trading rules, you'll see these terms come to life. Now, you might think about the setup rules as defining a W pattern that you can visually observe on the price chart. And if you look at point one, two, and three, they form what looks like a W with point three being lower than point one. So keep that in mind as we go through these setup rules. All right, first we're going to apply the setup rules to a typical daily Forex candlestick chart. And these setup rules then will alert you to get ready to enter the market. We're going to apply these rules to the green candle that's labeled setup day to see if indeed that day satisfies all of these rules. So let's start with A. That's the lowest low of the last five days from and including the setup day equals the lowest low of the last 40 days from and including the setup day. And that indeed would be 0.3 as labeled on the chart. So if you count back five days from the setup day and 40 days from the setup day, you will find that 0.3 is indeed the low of the last five days and the low of the last 40 days. So that's condition A. B, the 0.3 low is less than a swing low, which is 0.1. Now 0.1 has to be a swing low, which is, as defined earlier, a low who has at least two higher lows on either side and two higher highs on either side of the swing low day. And by visual inspection, you can see that that is indeed the case. Now, a very important condition is C here, where the lowest high the last five days from setup day, and that's labeled on the chart with the letter C, that lowest high the last five days has to be greater than the 0.1 low minus one average true range 20. Now, what does that mean? If you take the 0.1 low and subtract from it one average true range, you can easily plot that with any good trading software. Pick off that point, subtract it from the point one low. As long as the lowest high the last five days is greater than that level, then condition C has been met. Okay, then we have D, the five day exponential moving average turns up as shown on the chart with the letter D. And E, the setup day close has to be less than the 18 day moving average, which is the blue line plotted on the chart so that when A through E have been satisfied, you then have a valid setup day. All right, now once we have the setup in place, we can look at the entry and exit rules. First, the entry order. We're gonna simply buy at the market on the open of the day after setup day. And that's signified on the chart with the green B arrow. Now for the entry day only, we're gonna use an initial stop to sell at the 0.3 low stop close only. Now what that means is if we enter the market on entry day and the market subsequently drops in this example and closes below the 0.3 low, then we're going to immediately exit the market on the open of the next day. Now that seldom happens, but what does happen on occasion is after getting into the market on entry day, it will trade lower temporarily, but then close higher on the day. And so we don't want to get stopped out prematurely if that happens. Now, after the entry day, we're going to use the follow-up stop to sell at the lowest low the last two days times 0.999 stop. That's a fancy way of saying we're going to take one-tenth of one percent of that lowest low the last two days and subtract it from 
the two-day low. Now that stop will apply to the entire position or a half position if the profit target exit has already been hit. And concerning profit target exit, what we want to do is exit half the position at the entry price plus one average two range 20 with a limit order. And we're doing this for a couple of reasons. One, we take a real nice profit immediately. We take half the position off the table. So that automatically cuts whatever risk there was in the trade in half. And we're applying the LL2 follow-up stop to the remaining half position. And then we update that at the end of each day and move that stop up so that the market can go as far as it wants to go on that second half position. And in this example, it gets stopped out at the red S arrow towards the top of the chart, that big red candle, because it took out the lowest low of the last two days. So you can see how moving that stop up every day immediately reduces the risk in the trade and then zeroes it out altogether so you have a free trade situation. And then it lets the profits run as far as they want to go locking in profits day after day after day until finally the trade stopped out. It's a very, very powerful exit strategy that allows you to take full advantage of what the market has to offer on each and every trade. Okay, next I'm going to teach you the short trade rules for the pip reversal method. And these are pretty much the reverse of the long trade rules. First, the definitions. The HH2 is the highest high of the past two days. The HH5, the highest high of the past five days. And the HH40 is the highest high of the past 40 days. The HL5 is the highest low of the past five days. The ATR20 is the average true range of the past 20 days. And a swing high is any high with at least two lower highs than the swing high day high and two lower lows than the swing high day low on both sides of the swing high day. The setup rules. Well, in the case of a short trade, what we're looking for is an M, M for money pattern. And you can see that on the chart with points one, two, and three tracing out an M pattern. Now, it's not just any old M pattern. It has to be one that meets conditions A through E. So let's go through them. A, the highest high of the last five days must be equal to the highest high of the last 40 days. And if so, that would define point three. B, the point three high is greater than a swing high point one. And it, by visual inspection, you can see that point one indeed has at least two lower highs and two lower lows on either side of the point one swing high day. And then see the highest low of the last five days, and that is signified by the letter C on the chart, is less than the point one high plus one average true range 20. And so if you were to add one average true range to the point one high, you would find that the highest low of the last five days from setup day is easily below that level. And then the five day exponential moving average turns down as of setup day. You can see setup day there highlighted on the chart. And if you look at the brown exponential moving average line, you see that it turned down on that day. And then condition E, the setup day close has to be greater than the 18 day moving average, which is the blue line. And clearly it's well above that average. So all conditions A through E have been met qualifying the red candle that's signified as setup day on the chart is indeed a valid setup day. And this then alerts you to get ready to enter the market. So once we have a valid setup, then we would enter the market by selling short at the market on the open immediately following the close of the setup day. And you can see the entry day is signified with an SS red down arrow. Now for the entry day only, we're going to buy to cover at the 0 0.3 high on a stop close only. That's our initial stop. And again, that means if on the entry day, the market suddenly reversed and traded higher above the 0 0.3 high and closed above that high, we would exit the trade immediately on the open of the following day. Now that seldom happens. What does happen on occasion after entering the market, it can trade higher above the 0.3 high only to reverse and then close lower on the day. So we would not want to get stopped out prematurely in that event. And then following the entry day, for every day thereafter, we're going to use the follow-up stop to buy to cover at the highest high of the last two days times 1.001 .001 plus the spread on a stop. 
Again, this means that we're going to take one-tenth of one percent of the two-day high and add it to the two-day high and then add the spread. The reason we have to add the spread for you newer traders is in Forex, when you buy, you buy on the ask price. When you sell, you sell on the bid price. And so here we're buying to cover, so we're going to be buying on the ask. So we need to add the spread into this calculation. Now this follow-up stop is updated at the close of every day. So you're continuously tightening up the stop. First zeroing out all of the risk in the trade and then eventually locking in more and more profit. And if you just visually look at the chart example, you can see going forward that on each subsequent day's close, you would be dropping down that follow-up stop very, very quickly. And eventually you're stopped out where the green arrow pointing up says BTC buy to close at a very, very nice profit. Now, the way we handle these trades, though, we don't know if the market's going to drop like that or not. So what we want to do is use a profit target exit and exit half the position at the entry price minus one average true range 20 on a limit order. So that if the market only drops a little, at least we still get a nice profit and we protect the remaining half position with that follow-up stop. So no matter what the market does, this strategy, this two-step exit strategy, maximizes your profit potential. So there you have it, my complete pip reversal method. The same method many others have paid a value of $500 for. Now it worked way back in 2007. It's been battle tested over the past five years and it still works today. And it'll work for many years to come. Now, don't forget, make sure you download the trading blueprints below this video that summarize everything I just taught you. Again, if you're new to Forex trading, don't worry if some of what I taught doesn't make sense. Go back and review what you've learned so far and make sure you post a question below this video if you need further clarification on an issue. Things will become more clear as you continue on with the follow-up training videos. Now, you might be thinking, this all sounds great, but shouldn't I wait until the economy gets better before trading Forex? Well, the short answer is no, and here's why. The global currency wars are creating massive volatility in the Forex markets. Or to put it in simple English, they're causing the Forex markets to move big time. Up or down, it doesn't matter. There's a lot of profit potential when these markets move either way. And that's what I'm going to show you how to go after in these videos. In fact, one of the great things about today's Forex markets is that you have the potential to go in and grab some relatively short-term profits. You're not always going to win, of course, but the good news is that you don't have to when you apply the three Forex Wealth Catalysts you'll learn in these videos. You'll see how to ride a trade for all it's worth, maxing out its profit potential, but you'll also see how to quit a trade when it loses steam and goes against you. That's how the most successful traders do it, and that's how I'm going to teach you how to do it. This is not a printing press or a holy grail by any means but it's simply one of the best and easiest approaches to using Forex to generate short-term income potential that I've ever seen, and I'm excited for you to begin implementing it. And if you think that Forex has already seen its day, think again. The daily Forex turnover is bigger than ever and growing every year, looking to hit $5 trillion a day in 2013. Now, the only thing that's seen its day are Forex get-rich-quick schemes, which peaked a few years ago and are fortunately starting to fade away. The people who learned to build real wealth in their lifetimes figured out that the proper mindset to have is get rich slowly. And that's always been the goal of my training. So can you become a millionaire trading Forex? Well, unless you're trading with hundreds of thousands of dollars, probably not, at least not right away. But can you make some extra money every month? It's entirely possible. What if you just made enough extra money to cover a car payment? Or what if you made enough to take an extra vacation every year? Or what if you turn your trading into a part-time business? Maybe you could eventually quit your job and become a full-time trader. But the key is to start small, set achievable goals, and learn good trading habits. In fact, establishing good trading habits is probably the number one thing you can do right now. Now, if you like what you've seen so far, we're just getting started. I actually developed some brand new web software that I'll be talking about in the next video that makes trading the pip reversal method easier than ever. It's not available yet, but I'm going to give you a sneak preview in the next training video. It's something I think you're going to be pretty excited about. And remember what I said at the beginning of this video. When I end up releasing my new software, it's not going to cost you $2,000, even though I could easily sell it for that much. 
Plus, by the time I end up releasing it, you'll already have learned the three Forex Wealth Catalysts that I'm teaching in these training videos for free, which will be plenty of trading know-how to give you a huge edge in the Forex markets. Now, I wasn't kidding when I said I wanted to shake up the Forex education industry. This is going to be unlike anything you've ever seen from me before. So in the next video, I'm going to reveal a flaw that I discovered in the Forex markets. It has to do with how most people think they have to trade Forex. And this is one of the reasons why so many people fail. But once you understand this flaw, you can take advantage of it so that you actually spend less time trading, hardly any time staring at charts, and giving yourself the ability to go after a lot more profit potential at the same time. Also, I'm going to teach you Forex Wealth Catalyst number two which many of my students tell me is one of the most profound things they've ever learned from me. Now here's a hint. It has the power to automatically improve the trading results of almost any method you've used in the past, or are using right now, or plan on using in the future. I can't wait to share it with you. Now we're almost done, but before we finish, I have a sort of fun homework assignment for you. It might seem a little strange, especially if you're used to getting bombarded with get-rich-quick schemes day after day because it has nothing to do with getting rich, but it has everything to do with what makes you happy. And it's been worded specifically to help you identify exactly what that is. Here it is. Go ahead and answer this question. If we were having a discussion one year after you've traded the Forex markets on a regular basis, what has to have happened in your life, both personally and professionally, for you to feel happy with your progress? Specifically, what dangers do you have now that need to be eliminated? What opportunities need to be captured? And what strengths need to be maximized? Now, there's no right or wrong answer, but it is important that you take a few minutes to think about this question and to write down your answers. To make it easy, there's a link below this video that will let you download a one-page document that has this question along with some room to write down your answer. So go ahead and download it right now. Print it out and write down your answer. We're going to do something with your answer a little bit later. So it's really important that you do this simple activity right now. Okay, so that's it for this video. Watch your email and this website for video number two, which should be released shortly. We're just getting started. For now, go ahead and post a comment below if you like what you see or if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. This is Bill Paulus wishing you good trading.